Hello everyone, how is it going? So today we are going to make a simple and easy tutorial to clone anyone's voice. So all you need is a 5 or 10 seconds of voice sample of anyone, anyone that you're trying to clone and just that 5-10 second of sample uploading it on this code will generate that clone voice that you want to generate. So the first thing you want to do is in the description there is a link. So open that link and this collab file will, will open up. Make sure you're signing it with your own account. And once you have signed in, come here, go to runtime. And over here it says change runtime type. Make sure it is GPU, the notebook settings. Make sure it is GPU and then press save. So it'll use Google Collabs GPU because the code that uh, the gentleman, the library, this is not, of course, it's not made by me. Someone else made it uh, and whoever made it, they're using GPUs and all these super you know, graphic cards, which we don't have. So it's better to run it on the collab, which makes it very easy for us to run because we are using Google's GPUs. So the, the author of this paper is this gentleman by the name Quarantine, if I'm not mistaking his name correctly. So he made this paper, his research paper, and he open sourced his project to everyone to use and utilize. So if you want to use the source, I'll put the description of his GitHub link also, so you can see how he made the paper and how, how what is it happening behind. Uh, but uh, it's, this is, I, I tried it on my computer, it is very cumbersome to load, especially uh, if you're not using a GPU. So the Colab version helped a lot and it is very easy to run over here. You don't need, uh, in fact, uh, all the coding is already done. You just need to press play, play, play and it will done it for you. So the first and foremost step is please subscribe to the channel if you like the content, if and only if. You like the content so i know that uh, this is working out and if it's not let me know what you want to learn what is it that you want me to improve upon i'll be happy to use your feedback and if there is any project or any uh, application that you're trying to develop leave a comment so i'll make sure if it's something that i can develop right away i'll make a video of it soon at or at least guide you in that direction so I'll do my best to help you out. And uh, this is a community that I'm trying to grow. So leave a comment with what you want to learn, what you want to study or what you want to develop and uh, make sure we'll do it together. So uh, now since we have taken that out of way, so once you have done the notebook settings to GPU, just click on run all and it will run the whole notebook for you. I have done it already. So my notebook is fully done and it will take a few seconds. So once you have done run all, give it a few seconds. You'll notice uh, the play button over all this. All these libraries will be changing. And once you have come down here, you can see this text, this text. In my case, I just put on subscribe to the channel. That's something which which I'm trying to promote in this video for sure. And you need that text, which is which should be in English. Unfortunately, I have not seen in any other languages. Right now it is in English. So whatever text you put down here and this particular WAV file, you need to provide the five to 10 seconds of voice sample. Now in this case, I used the Donald Trump's voice and I put down Trump10.wave. So it's using that 10 second value. If, if you want to see where it is, uh, once you do, do the runtime value, when, once you run the whole project, it will open, create this folder here, which is real time voice cloning. And if you open that folder and if you go down, you can see this Trump 10 dot wave. And this is the voice sample that I uploaded. It's a 10 second sample for Donald Trump and it is what it's using to train itself. You can upload whoever's and whatever 10 second volume uh, sample volume. Uh, the paper says five seconds is enough, but I've noticed about eight, nine seconds is good. So uh, just for the safety, I put down 10 seconds and uh, try it out with different samples. Uh, if five seconds doesn't work, then give out six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds. You can use a simple project, a simple uh, software like Audacity, which is free to use. It's a voice or editor or audio editor, 
so go ahead and use that if you want to generate the voice and it should also be very um, clean it should not have any noise in it so use as clean audio and so, so the when it's training it's not taking the noise as uh, for its training so it's only using the audio now trump 10.wave is what i'm using here in this case and the path is trump 10.wave the text is subscribe to the channel so you'll see once we have uh, this if you press the play button over here it will generate that text which we want to that audio that we want to play so give it a few seconds you can see it's loading and it now it has generated this text for us so if i press the play button it will read the text that we gave up there in donald trump's voice so we'll see how it comes out subscribe to the channel I don't know if it was visible. I'll pray it again. Subscribe to the channel. So we can see how the audio was generated in his voice. If you want to download this, just click on right click here, save audio as, and now you'll you can be able to download and save your audio generated file. So that's all there is to this code. It's simple. Uh, if you want uh, explanation, stick around for a little bit more and I'll go over what all is happening in each bit. So the first step is you are cloning. You're cloning the repository and this is my version of the repository. So I forked the original repository and put it on my GitHub. So you can see MISPA 4064, this is my GitHub. And I, the reason I did it on mine is because I made a few changes in the main repository, which is useful for running a collab file. So I'm since I made those changes, I'm using my GitHub link over here. Once it is done, you, I'm changing the current directory to the real-time cloning directory. This is nothing but the directory over here. So real-time voice cloning, I'm, I'm telling Google Collab to go and change that directory to this particular directory. So I'm inside this. And once I'm inside this, we are installing all the dependencies that the original author had mentioned. So all the original dependencies and also a library, an audio library is being installed. So these are installing all the dependencies that we need for this project. Once we're done with that, we come here and install or download this pre-trained.zip file. Now this, this is something that the author has provided for everyone. And it's all the models that he had generated, the weights and the models that he had used to train his library. So all, all of that is being downloaded and also unzipped. But the moment it unzips, you'll see some new folders like the encoder, synthesizer. These are all the, uh, library, the, all the folders that came from this particular link, the drive link. And here, this is this particular section over here, if you see, it's importing all the libraries and it is the main brain behind the whole project. It's loading all the models, all the weights that we are were being used for synthesizing the audio. Everything is happening over here. You can see that it's uh, encoding, it's loading up all the weights for the encoder, for the vocoder, the synthesizer. Everything is being loaded up here. And this is the main crux of the program. Uh, the, this is the text. The next step is where we are defining the text that we want because uh, the text is what is going to be read by the cloned voice. Now in this section we are just nothing but using the weights and models that we had uh, linked up in the beginning to use that to clone our voice. You need to first provide the 10 second sample that we want to be cloned. And of course, in our case, we're using the Trump 10 dot wave, which is a 10 second voice sample of Donald Trump. And everything else is just using that sample to generate your own cloned voice. Once we do that, it just generates and displays the main audio and puts it up for here. We can just go ahead and click on this and play. So we can Subscribe download it this. So with that, we come to the conclusion of this video. If you like the video, press the like button. If you have any questions, if you run into any issues while running the collab file, leave a comment below. And I'll also put an email address for me if you have any uh, more severe issues where you need to share any screenshots. 
it will take a few uh, i may not be able to reply right away but i'll definitely look into that email and get back to you faster is putting a youtube comment uh, i can get back to you right away but uh, if there's any complex errors that you're coming through you can email that with the screenshots so i can get back to you later so with that i come to the conclusion you guys stay safe take care keep learning keep growing bye bye